Merry Christmas and welcome to Gladys Cake Kitchen. I'm back with a Vlogmas baking episode and today we're making these simple red velvet cupcakes which are topped with a swirl of Swiss meringue buttercream and completed with a sprinkling of some crushed red velvet cupcakes. These cupcakes are an adaptation of my recent red velvet cake layer completed in a live baking session which I will link in the description box for you. To start with, I have already lined the cupcake tins, which I will set aside for later. The recipe makes about 36 cupcakes, but I only lined 24 for now. With the tins lined and out of the way, let's get to making the cupcake batter. In a mixing bowl, I have some margarine, custard sugar and brown sugar, which I will set to cream in a moment. Adding brown sugar is to enhance flavor and moisture, and in addition to this is pure vanilla extract, which also enhances flavor. Over here on this channel though, we do not mention our vanilla and I recently saw a quote that read, vanilla is to bacon as sweet chili sauce is to crispy fried chicken. One can never have enough. But that aside, I'll be linking the full quantities of this recipe including any additional information in the description box for you to check out. The sugar and margarine has been set to cream for 6 minutes and perhaps at the 3 minute mark it's advisable to scrape the bowl in for a uniform mix. Six minutes in, when the mixture is light and pale, vegetable oil is added and creaming continues. This recipe combines butter or margarine with oil for moisture and a delicate crumb. While this recipe is an adaptation of an original recipe, also linked in the description box for you, the addition of brown sugar and oil are great for flavor and texture. Eggs are added into the mixture, but for a homogeneous mix, I normally beat the eggs slightly, breaking the yolks before adding to the creamed butter and sugar mix. Once mixed for two minutes after the eggs are added, the mixer is topped and the bowl is scraped in to bring the entire mixture together. This mixer is great for creaming, but I only decided to use this for the cupcakes only as a matter of convenience. If you're a beginner, this recipe quantity can be made using a simple hand mixer. I also have an in-depth review of this K-Mix up on this channel, so if for Christmas you're looking for a gift worth the investment, do consider this review first before making your purchase. Eggs are mixed in now and this is followed by flour which has a pinch of salt and cocoa powder added. This has been sifted before adding to the butter. A portion of the flour is added and we have buttermilk mixed with food coloring also added to the butter. The rest of the flour is mixed in and the mixer is stopped just before the flour is all mixed together. The rest of the mixing is done by hand to prevent overmixing. After folding in by hand, the bowl is set back on the mixer at fold function for 20 seconds and it's time to portion the butter into the cupcake liners. Each liner gets a scoop and a half of butter, leaving space for the cupcakes to rise. While filling in the cupcakes, here are a few tips to help you get the best outcomes from your baking activities. Use the same ingredients and follow the recipe as noted without any substitutions. Substitutions can be done once you've mastered and understood the recipe. Remember, substitutions may take time and mistakes could occur along the way before you master that. So be patient and follow the course. For this particular recipe though, I combined self-raising flour with plain flour which means the use of rising agent is completely eliminated. But for a homogeneous mix, the eggs are dropped in a bowl of warm water which means they are not cold because in England in the winter, eggs and butter are still cold at room temperature. Buttermilk in red velvet cake brings a tanginess to the taste profile and tenderizes hence results in a soft and delicate crumb. 
Without overstating the obvious, the use of red food coloring is to bring color, as the name suggests, red velvet. However, there are ways to bring color without the addition of food coloring, such as adding beetroot. But I use Progel or Sugar Flare Extra Red for coloring my red velvet cake or cupcakes. The batter is portioned into the cupcake tins and this will be set to bake at 160 degrees C for 18 to 22 minutes. Once done, we have cupcakes baked so delicate with a flat top and low dome. After a few minutes on the countertop though, the cupcakes are transferred onto a tray to cool completely before frosting with buttercream. A good tip to note is that when cupcakes remain in the tins that they are baked within, they continue to cook which may render the crumb dry or overcooked. Setting them on trays allows them to air, cooling them quickly whilst preventing overcooking. The cupcakes are cool now and are set to be frosted with buttercream. This is my easy Swiss meringue buttercream recipe which I will link below in the description box for you. But these cupcakes also pair well with French buttercream too. Due to food safety guidelines associated with the use of cream cheese frosting, I opted against making cream cheese frosting which is a very recommended buttercream for red velvet cake or cupcakes. Keeping in themes with keeping things simple, the cupcakes are finished off with a sprinkling of some crushed cupcakes which were broken for decoration. With such a flavorful, easy to make and well presented cupcakes, there's no doubt your Christmas dinner table will be filled with cheer and much joy and with a cupcake to match. I hope you try these cupcakes but you could upgrade the decorations with stamped Christmas themed toppers or Christmas themed edible prints, all of which are saved in my Vlogmas playlist for you to check out. Red velvet aside, you may want to try these Christmas themed gingerbread cookie cupcakes, which are also full of flavor and is showing right on screen for you. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.